Trump gets indicted yesterday for the very first time a former president is arrested, in, uh, indicted on criminal charges. So uh, let's take a look at our, our screen here real quick. So uh, Trump rages about being indicated, indicted in a social media post about his indictment. I guess if that pissed off he can't spell the word yeah. indictment. So uh, uh, he's, he's basically went on a rant yesterday as you know, you know him. Mm -hmm. You know, he went out there first ever. This is an attack on a country the likes of which has never been seen before is likewise a continued attack on once free and fair elections. The USA is now a third world nation. He saw that not only did he call out uh, uh, his enemies, but also was also calling out the state of this country, a nation in serious decline. So sad. Um, this, this is unprecedented times. The last two weeks in the news in our world has been unprecedented times you know uh what are your thoughts here on trump getting arrested fingerprinted mugshotted this man trump man um one of the things that I, well today we're gonna definitely speak about andrew tate as well man and one of the things that I, I i recognize about trump andrew tate and also elon musk the guy who took over uh twitter they did something that a lot of people can't do in in, in this country and that's caused disruption and that's why a lot of people don't really align with within this country, especially when they're completely being opposed and they're being questioned on their values and, 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 and what they stand on. Yep. And um, and you know what, man? The, fa the fact that Trump spoke on the idea that uh, we're becoming a third world country, everything's, I mean, everything that he's speaking on is, is aligning based off of what, what he said. is not wasn't, wasn't a couple of days ago that um, we, we spoke on that uh, our currency acro yep. across the world yep. is, is uh, being replaced, right? Yep. We're, we're, they're no longer going to be utilizing uh, U.S. dollar when it comes down to trade. Um, but the thing is, my thing is, if this is what's going on, because he, he has 34 charges against his name, and I think it's a minimum of what, 40, or 40, four years yeah. per, per charge? Four years per charge? Um, but he pleaded not guilty, yep. right? And I don't know, man, you, do you think all 34 of these charges are actually going to fall, fall through and Trump's actually going to be behind bars and we're going to make history he, on that? Here's the crazy part. You know, you, you got you got the, uh, the 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 Democratic, the liberals, right? Listen, we're not a republic. This is not a Republican show. This is not a Democrat show. We're just observing things from a perspective of, <coughs> of somebody that wants to get ahead in this country. Yeah. And sometimes we're getting in this country, uh, 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 and, and the economics of it all, policies affect how we as entrepreneurs or as investors in our in our communities and our families affect the way we make our decisions. So. Um, Matter of fact, can we look at this uh, on the screen real quick? Here's what it says. The thugs and radical left monsters have just in indicted the 45th president of the United States and the leading Republican candidate. So let's just unpack that real quick. So in other words, he believes that, and a lot of people believe, that the justice system has been weaponized to arrest your political opponents. So when, when you're looking at this, that is not the way a democracy is supposed to work. It's not the way our, 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 our republic is supposed to work. So there is an attack on our country, our freedoms. They're trying to take away. There's, there's powers that be that want to take away our First Amendment, power of speech. They shut him down. 1,000%. They're, they want to take away our guns based on what happened a couple of weeks ago. They want to tr take that down. So there's, there's certain amendments that are looking on, on taking away the, what this country has been built on which is a very scary uh, truth about it. And you know, th these are some of the things that um, led to the indictment. Cohen arranged hush money payments back in o uh, 2018. Cohen is his attorney, okay? Personal lawyer and fixer for Mr. Trump. And then the DA subpoenas the Trump Organization. By the way, this attorney, the DA in New York that led these charges, but this is not a federal case, this is a state case. That's why I had to go back to New York from Mar-a-Lago from Florida to 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 be in the, to fess up to the or not fess up but to to honor the the law, and so when you're looking at this DA, he's actually downgraded fifty two percent of felonies to misdemeanors, but he's upgraded these charges potentially for his misdemeanors to a class E felony, and so you can tell that there's a lot of politics. And maneuvering here that I don't think is behind closed doors. I think a lot of people can see what's happening. Lexi, what, what's your thoughts on this? Um, 
I don't know if I want to con- like give my transparent thoughts, but <laughs> I feel like Trump has definitely incited a lot of unnecessary violence throughout people that it, it kind of deters what actual good points come from him. So despite um, there was a lot of things that he offered for business owners, entrepreneurs while he during his tenure as president, mm-hmm. um, a lot of us are focused on you know the capital attack, what he did with his how his tax yep. returns January can 6th. never yep. How his tax returns, you know, are still technically hidden, and how his lawyers are trying to protect that well, to they the highest actually, degree. They released it, and they found out that he's barely paying any taxes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But just like uh, we're entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. what, do we, what do we want to do? We make a lot of money and not report as much on our taxes. It's the taxes. Yeah. But he's just at a, he's at a billionaire millionaire level though. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's just why we can't really focus on the. I want. I don't want to say good because people will come for me. But um, the value that he's added when he was our president. Um, apart from that, I still just think that he is a big old, and he definitely just says a lot of unnecessary things that um, just, like I said, distract the population. Think about this. You're, you're married to Donald Trump. You think about Melania right now. Think from Melania's perspective. Mm-hmm. She's dealing with this situation right now because her husband screwed a porn star. How do you feel as a wife? I mean, Imagine your husband, your husband supposedly paid hush money. And by the way, I don't think he's even denying this. He didn't say, I didn't do it in terms of paying a porn star hush money. Right? He's just mm-hmm. saying these things are, are not charges. He's not saying I didn't screw her. He's not saying I didn't sleep with her. Now he may have paid her off with all these different things, but he didn't say I didn't sleep with her. How do you feel right now as a wife? I mean, she knew who she got in bed with. I feel like if you look at giving her history as well, I mean, she's not far off track from his taste. So to me, I don't think that's very surprising. So you'd say he's got a type. Clearly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he married her, so <laughs> he has no problem with, you know, yeah. women who are um, in that career field, to say. I got you. Yeah. Well, he was the, uh, he had uh, uh, miss, the, the pageants, yeah. the, the Miss America, this, this whole thing. Uh, let's go back here to the screen. So, on 2019, the DA gets it. 2019, Trump lawyers sued to protect his taxes. So you're talking about tax returns earlier. Mr. Vance wins his first key victory at the U.S. Supreme Court. Investigation in- intensifies. So, this is a buildup of over the years of trying to get Trump here. 2021, Supreme Court denies Mr. Trump's final bill to block the release of his returns. March 21, investigation focused uh, to uh, top executive. Uh, 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 Alan uh, Weisselberg, Trump Organization's long-serving chief financial officer. Uh, and our seven-figure squad uh, um, YouTube channel, we did interview the former attorney for uh, uh, Trump, and um, he was actually helping him run Trump Corporation, and what he thought his thoughts were. Uh, for those of you uh, on the seven-figure squad YouTube channel, you might want to look at that. Trump uh, attorney uh, exposes Donald Trump uh, video. Uh, Donald Trump organization is running a 15-year tax scheme. So you were talking about that mm-hmm. earlier too, Lexi. New Manhattan DA takes off. And that's Alvin Bragg. That's the guy that put these charges on Trump. They're both Democrats. Mr. Bragg, a former federal prosecutor, retained two of the investigation leader. Mike Palmer is an experienced former federal prosecutor, white-collar defense lawyer, Kerry Dunn, as Mr. Vance's general counsel. Now these two prosecutors resign, leaving the investigation future in doubt. So the prosecutor that was brought on board, they resigned. They came on and said, okay, we're to do this after further investigation. Now there's a lot of legal analysts that said a pre-law student wouldn't even bring this to a judge. This is how bad these charges are. And it's outside the statute of limitations. But his investigation continues. Weisberg pleads guilty and agrees to testify against the Trump organization, the CFO of uh, Trump, uh, Trump organization. Prosecutors turn back hush money. So if there anything, uh, um, Stormy Daniels is owing legal fees of like $140,000, $150,000 back to Trump as well as the $500,000 of quote unquote hush money they got sent. Trump organization, they got sent to, uh, they got sent to hurt, they want it back. The Trump organization convicted, securing a significant victory for the DA. So a lot of these things have been happening behind closed doors. In the meantime, Guess what's happening in the rest of the world? A lot of madness. A lot of things that are really important. Uh, and here's the thing. Do you think this, is, this, is, you think this has helped Trump or hurt Trump? His, 
his um, indictment? Yeah. You think this indictment, his arrest has helped Trump or hurt Trump? Um, I think it's helped him. Weirdly enough, right? Yep. His following, his uh, the people who want to who believe in him, who want to follow, you know, his leadership and what he has to offer us. His, his popularity has grown despite, you know, social media trying to shut him down, shut his voice down, taking away his First Amendment. Like, he grew his own platform. What, what, made, it, what made it popular? Is it him being him or people against the establishment? People against being shut down, locked down, the voice of silence being canceled. You think people are rising up because that's what he's... More yeah, more I think for. it's because he's going against the grain, against the status quo, and a lot of people find a hard time. I, I feel like a lot of people, they like to follow what the media feeds them, what yeah. the government feeds them, and he uh, stepped into a powerful role and said no. <laughs> What's your thoughts, Milton? You know what, man? I'm, I'm, actually, uh, I'm online right now, and I'm looking up Democratic presidents and hush money and political parties and hush money. There's been a lineage for years on hush money, and I think just because it's Trump and because he's opposing many people's views, especially when it comes down to, Demo to the Democratic Party and, and a lot of liberals, um, for the people who are completely against Trump and completely uh, for shutting him down completely, the fact that it's him, they went above and beyond to try to decipher every small detail about his his past life or you know him and his past before, before presidency, so he can utilize that against him now. But here's the thing. One of the things that, as Lexi said, you know, I think this is actually helping him in a way, uh, at least from my perspective, is the fact that this is happening to Trump, this is actually forcing a lot of people who are his supporters, people within that political party, forcing them to step out and also do the same for other for, for other parties. And now, like, the magnifying glass isn't only on Trump, but now they get curious about, um, you know, how corrupt are our politics, you know, uh, what's right, what's wrong, what policies are being instilled. I've never seen, at least in, in, in during my time, I've never seen youth, and when I say youth, I want, I want to say, you know, people of the age of 18 and above, I haven't seen them involved in, in politics, you know, my as much as they are right now. As much as they are right now. Yeah, it's, you look back at the first way they were trying to attack them, which is the, uh, the, the Russian interference, the, 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 the dossier. Yeah. What was found about that? That was false. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next one, they want to find uh, the, the, the conference call with Ukraine. Yeah. He's trying to say, hey, if we do this for you, you got to quid pro quo. That's the, mm -hmm. right? And what they find about that, that was nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they impeached him yeah. about it. But that was still nothing. And they impeached him, they impeached him again. Uh, the January 6th, still nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, fourth attack. It's very obvious. And, and by the way, pre-politics, was Trump loved? The man was loved. Everybody loved Trump. Hip hop and artists want to have Trump on their and his videos. And his videos. W, uh, WWE had him. Yeah, Vincent Mad had him. Yeah, he fought him off. Uh, yeah. The Apprentice, yeah. uh, 13, four, longest running show on NBC. Uh, 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 before uh, uh, Shark Tank, Shark Tank, I think is, is taking that over now. Yeah. But uh, let's let's look at this last clip before we, we we finish this topic on Trump. Trump can still run for president, even after his indictment, and even cover from jail. <laughs> Imagine us for the first time. I mean, uh, in business, I love having the reputation of first two. But this could be a first two having a president criminally arrested, a first two president that gets elected and then thrown in jail, and they can still run and govern from jail. From jail. S from jail. I don't know why I visualized an ankle bracelet around Trump while he walks around the White House. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the president must be 35 year U.S. resident and a natural-born citizen. Boom. Um, the Constitution does not require that a president be free from indictment, uh, 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 conviction, or prison. It follows that a person under indictment or prison may run for office and may even serve as president. And it, what, what mess with that sense to the rest of the world if he's running our country from jail? I feel like it doesn't matter because the U.S. sends plenty of messages about us and who we are as a country, and we have no shame. So <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past us to vote for somebody that's in jail. I'm sorry. <laughs> Get ready for another looting from Chicago Part 2. Remember, remember the last oh, one we had, uh, something going on? Yeah. I think this is going to cause a lot of chaos within a lot of the blue states, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it's, it's, been, it's been pretty nasty um, with the looting during um, covid and 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 uh, let's look at by the way let's look at Ron DeSantis because they they Ron DeSantis the governor from Florida a weaponization of the legal system to because they think that he's gonna oh, like okay good job my opponent 
because both in the Republican Party, my opponent is now thrown in jail. People think that he's going to like, okay, it's time for me to yep. rise up and use this opportunity to say, okay, that's why I'm the guy. But this is what he tweeted. The weaponization of legal systems advance a political agenda, turns the rule of law on its head. It's un-American. The Soros-backed Manhattan District Attorney has consistently bent the law to downgrade felonies, we were just talking about earlier, yep. and excuse criminal conduct. Yet, now, he is stretching a law to target a political opponent. Florida will now will not assist in an extradition request, in other words, because he was in Florida, mm -hmm. to get him out of Florida, yep. U.S. marshal him back to New York, given the questionable circumstances at issue with the Soros uh, backed Manhattan prosecutor and his political agenda. Well, thank God he didn't have to exercise the extradition. Imagine if that happened. If New York said, we're forcing Florida, you better fly this guy back up. And man, DeSantis saying, ah, you, this, this is messy business. Yeah. That, that would have been a it's in your hands. standoff. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.